Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial video for you guys and so in this video I'll be quickly showing you guys how you can add a vehicle spawn to your map for uh, your team or for each team. So um, I know this is like a very simple thing but um, there is some people out there that doesn't know how to do this. So this is why I'm making this tutorial video for you guys. So um, I also wanted to say sorry for not uploading um, a new squad SDK tutorial video in a while. And that's because I've been playing some other games. I'm just getting my mind off the SDK and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, if you guys do want to watch my other videos, you can. Um, I've recently played some World War Z and um, also some Mr. Zenny Sandstorm. But, um, yeah, with that said, let's go get to it. So, all you guys need to do is come here on the left uh, by all classes and just search for spawn. And um, you should be, you should get a BP underscore vehicle spawner. And now, I know some of you don't get some of these uh, blueprints here if you search for them here on the left. And that's all fine. All you need to do is to f get them then is come to the content browser and go into gameplay and if you scroll down you should get the BP vehicle spawner here at the bottom. So we're going to drag one of these out, out in here and if I go closer you guys will see it has like an arrow and that's just basically to show you which way the vehicle is going to face when you, um, when it spawns. So I'm just going to turn this a little bit like negative 70 so it faces that way and um, on the right here by the details panel you'll see there's a vehicle class now this is where you're gonna set which vehicle you want um, to spawn here so I'm gonna choose this uh, BP underscore M1125 or 26 woodland so this, it's like the BTR um, but I'm um, yeah, obviously um, you guys will go here and search for the specific uh, vehicle you want if you know um, all of the, the BP classes for the vehicles. So I'm just going to go with this one and um, you guys will see underneath it is a respawn timer. So this is uh, whenever this vehicle gets destroyed on your, in the map, um, this is the amount of seconds it's going to take before it respawns again. So and then the second, the third option is the team, and so we're gonna set this to team one, and then the spawn delay is this is the time it takes to spawn when the map starts. So if you wanted to spawn ten seconds after the game ma uh, the match um, starts or whatever, you can uh, set it over here, and that's that's basically all you need to uh, do for the vehicle spawner. And now I can quickly show you guys if I click play. And um, I make this full screen. Uh, and it's buggy. Okay, continue. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna choose a crewman role. Select spawn. As you can see on the mini map, it also shows the vehicle. And so, as you guys can see, it's spawned. And um, you can climb into it if you have a crewman um, role. It depends on what vehicle um, you set it to. And uh, not all vehicles require a crewman role. But um, as you can see, here, you can switch, switch between the seats. And um, you can also drive around. So I can quickly start it here. And um, it should be just like a normal vehicle. And. Um, so yeah, that's all I actually wanted to show you guys, and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, a thumbs down, and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and um, check all of the links in the video description, and um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one.